Andy B here. I just wanted to get on and pray with you guys. It looks like there's supposed to be a really bad storm is coming here. <laughs> um, so I was just going to get on and, and pray. I've already been praying and singing. I've been uh, praising the Lord for about an hour. It was a perfect weather here. And I, I've been in there singing and praising the Lord. And now there's like this crazy storm coming. But anyway, I wanted to pray for y'all on today. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I lift up your children. I lift them up. I lift their feet up off the ground. I lift them up to you, Father. I pray that you'll send those holy angels to come and bear them up in your in your arms, in their hands. Bear Bear your children up in the angels' hands, Lord. Lift their feet up off the ground, Father, for we take authority over all serpents and all scorpions and over all power of the enemy, Luke 10, 19, and nothing by any means shall harm us, Father. I decree it, I declare it, I call that down from heaven right now, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose the blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, Lord, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the power, the kingdom, and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. We lift up the Lord Jesus Christ. We, we praise your name. We glorify the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We glorify the Lamb of God. We glorify the Lamb of God. If Jesus Christ be lifted up, he will draw all men unto himself. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I bind that strong man's hands and feet that is hurting your children, that is coming against your children right now. I bind the strong man's hands and feet right now. I decree and declare he cannot hurt the children. He cannot operate for he is bound. I bind you, O Satan, you, O devil, and the Lord rebuke thee. You leave that little one alone. You are not allowed to touch them. I cover them under the blood of Jesus. He says, oh yeah, I can touch them. No, no, you can't. I remit up their sins, Father, if the little children have any sins. I remit their sins up now. I ask you, Lord, to forgive them of all of their sin. Let not one sin be forgotten. We put everything under the blood. We repent of all inequity, all sin, all deceit, all rebellion, which is his witchcraft. We repent of all these things, Lord. If we have slandered, if we have gossiped, if we have backbit, if we have procrastinated, and been slothful and put off, if we have overslept and not prayed, if we have not taken communion, if we have not kept your holy Sabbath day, if we have committed adultery, fornications, if we have been lustful, covetousness, oh, I can feel this all over the hand of God as I'm praying. If we have lied, stolen, killed, did abortions, whatever the sin may be, I remit these sins up to you now. I remit up the sins of all the people, all your children of the whole body of Christ. Yes, and somebody says, you don't have authority to do that. Yes, I do. The Lord has given me all authority in heaven and earth, and he told me I was a priest under the high priest, and I do have authority to remit up sins. Jesus Christ met me in my corridor in my house one day, and he said, did you know that you are a priest? I said, no, Lord, I didn't no. And he said, whomever sins you remit, they will be remitted. But whomever sins you retain, they shall be retained. Well, I don't retain any of y'all sins. I remit up all y'all sins to the Lord. Anybody that sits under my channel, I remit their sins up to you, Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that we be clothed in filthy apparel, that we have on wrinkled garments because we've sat too long, that we have on spotted garments because we had sinned, that we have on holy and torn and tattered garments though we may not look like a bride because our wedding gown is soiled right now in the name of jesus christ i remit up every sin that the bride could think to do jesus christ said if she even think about 
a sin that we have committed in our heart. So even the things that we have thought about that we didn't even do, we remit those up too because Jesus Christ said if we thought it, it's the same as if we've done it. So we remit that up too, Father. And I pray now that Satan will not have an occasion against us to come and to do hurt. And now I pray, dear Heavenly Father, it will cut every witch off. The witches can only send a curse upon you if you live in active sin. Jesus Christ became came a curse for us so that we would not have to live under the curse of sin and death so right now I say Lord Jesus Christ every curse that has came out against us and that is coming against us now is a causeless curse and the causeless curse shall not land you have become a curse for us so that we would not have to live under the curse of sin and death so right now in the name of Jesus Christ I put every curse that has been sent against us and every curse that we have cursed ourselves with every idle word we have spoken that was a curse every curse of Deuteronomy 28 to where we did not diligently hearken to your voice or obey your commandments any curse no matter which way shape fashion or form that it came we remit these curses up to you because you became the curse so we lay these curses down at Calvary and we walk away clean and we say we have no curses we have no sin for we are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ and now I call on those living waters the living waters that flow through our belly and I release those living waters now to preach the glad tidings and the good news for there's power power wonder working power in his blood in his blood in the blood of the lamb yes there's power wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb and we call on the blood we call on the blood and we call on the power we call on the powers not by power but not by might but by the spirit so we call on the spirit we call on the spirit of the living god to come down upon us now father baptize us in the seven spirits of the lord baptize us in the spirit of the lord and the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding and the spirit of counsel and the spirit of might and the spirit of the knowledge and of the fear of the lord baptize us in the seven spirits of the lord that stand before your throne father for we are the two witnesses for the word lives in us and the spirit lives in us and to whomever the word and the spirit indwells they are the witness they are the two witnesses for the word is the spirit and i mean the word is a witness and the spirit is a witness and if the word be living in you that's jesus christ our lord because he is the living word and if the spirit be living in you then you are one of the two witnesses well you house both of the two witnesses you are the witness and jesus christ was the first witness he was the first witness in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was God and he came and was sent and went unto his own but many of his own they would not receive him but to those of us that did receive him to us he gave us the power to become the sons and daughters of God in whom I am yes I'm a daughter of God I have came out of death hell and the grave he raised me from the dead and he put a right spirit in me and he set my feet on the rock of ages and I've been walking with the Lord for 19 years and I say I am a daughter of the most high God and I'm watching and waiting on my post watching and waiting and working for the Lord to hear that trumpet in the sky blow the seventh trump to blow and for the holy angels to to come out to gather at the saints and for we to be changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump and the dead in christ shall rise and then those which are alive and remain they shall be caught up to meet the lord in the air and that's what we're waiting for and until that happens we're going to speak about the lord one to another for all those who speak speak often of the Lord one to another the Lord hearkened and heard and a book of remembrance was written about them and he put their name in the book of remembrance your name is in the book of remembrance do you speak often of the Lord 
Yes, you do. Your name is written in the book of remembrance. And he said, and in that day, in that day, in what day? In that great day, in the day of the great tribulation, in the day of the Lord's day, in the day of the Lord's wrath, in the day that all things shall happen, in that day is going to be a long day, a dark day, a cloudy day, a gloomy day. But in that day, he shall make up his jewels. He will remember us. He will not cast us off. He will sit with us, and when the day is dark and it is long, we will have light in our tents. We will have light in our camps. I prophesy it now. If the Lord be with you, you shall have light in the day of darkness. You shall have light no matter how many days of darkness is, whether if it's three days or three years, whether if it's 30 years, you shall have light in your camp, for the light is inside of you. God dwells in you. He lives inside of you. Praise be to the Lamb of God. Praise be to the Lamb of God. Father, for these little ones right now, I ask you, Lord, to change their garments. I ask you to take and put on clean, white, glistening garments on them. I pray, dear Heavenly Father, that you will take off any garments that are not royal apparel. I pray that you will dress them in their royal wedding apparel. I pray that you will let them try out their walking shoes. Let them try out their royal garments. Let them try out their golden necklaces and their earrings so they can hear you let them wear their those golden bracelets lord that breaks the bands of wickedness let them wear the the ring of the the bride and the groom let us wear the rings of the lord let us be clothed in righteous apparel i pray that you'll put them the coat of many colors on them the coat of joseph the coat of many colors for his father made him a coat and he put it on and it was a coat of many colors how did i buy coat because it represented all the tribes yes and father right now in the name of jesus i call for a fair mitre to be placed on these children's head whoever sits up under my ministry i pray dear heavenly father you will bring deliverance Deliverance in Israel, for Israel is the city of peace, and we are the city of peace. We are a delightsome land, a city on a hill, a light on a hill. Uh, for the Lord lives with us and in us, and we are His city. Yes, we are. We are His witness in the earth, for He has a city in heaven, and wherever there's a witness in heaven, there is a double witness in the earth. Whatever's going on in heaven, He's got witnesses that are going on with that down here in the earth, and we carry His glory. It says that the kings of the earth, they shall bring their glory into God's kingdom. And we shall be covered in God's own glory. I call down the glory of God. I call down the glory of God from heaven. First of all, I cast all that darkness out of your realm. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast all darkness out of that realm. And some of you have darkness in you. And right now, I call the darkness to come out. I say, darkness, I bind your hand and foot. And I command you. I can feel it right here. I don't know. That's on the left hand of God. That's the law. I bind your hand and foot, darkness, and I command you to be thou plucked up, be thou removed, and go now and plant yourself into the ocean. You cannot stay in these children. So today is your last day, darkness. I command you to come thou out now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I bind that strong man that operates that darkness. I bind that strong man hand and feet. I, oh, I can feel something in the heart. It's working in the heart. That darkness is in the heart. I command the darkness in the heart to come out. And that door that's open, that fervent door, it's a, it's a swinging door. It's ever open for that evil to go in and out, in and out, in and out. No, I shut the door down to your heart and I open the door of the Lord in your heart. I shut the door of evil down that was going through your heart the evil teeming where that enemy tries to get in I shut that evil door and I close it and I lock it with the keys of David and I open the door of the Lord in your heart I take the keys to the kingdom of David and I open up the door of the Lord in your heart and now Lord we call you to come come live in our heart come walk through our heart search every room in our heart sweep out the corners of our heart that have not been touched in a long time cleanse our heart from all wickedness cleanse our heart from all abominations cleanse our heart from teeming of beast and swarming of of where the worm dieth not Clean, let me let this dog in Clean, cleanse our heart come on guys 
cleanse our heart, Lord, and making us a right heart. Who can approach into the hill of the Lord? He that has clean hands and a pure heart. For the pure in heart, they shall be called the sons and daughters of God. No, the pure in heart, they shall see God. For the pure in heart, they shall see God. That's Matthew chapter 5. So right now in the name of Jesus, your heart is being healed. I'm telling you, if you're watching this video and you've had trouble with your heart, and I could feel it, and we don't understand the things of the heart, for it's a mystery. It's hard to understand. But on this day, Father, I call down that gift that you have given me to where you give me discernment over men's hearts, to where I have this discerning, to where I can discern what is in the hearts of men men and I can discern where there's evil spirits and evil trying to get in them and father I call that gift down and I impart that gift to them if they want this gift where they can discern the hearts of men and where they can discern over things like this father in the truth according to your word by your spirit I send them this gift. I impart this gift to them. I want them to have the anointing of the Lord. I want you to be anointed of the Lord. I want you to have all the gifts. Read 1 Corinthians 1 and 7. We are to come behind. No, not in one gift. We are to have all the gifts of the Lord. Every single one of his gifts. We are to do the same works that Jesus did even more so. So right now in the name of Jesus, any gift that you are lacking in now i send that to you now just receive it you don't have to believe that i have the gifts believe christ is the he has the gift every good gift cometh from the father from above so all the gifts come from the father from the lord so right now in the name of jesus if you receive the good gifts of the lord if you receive discerning over your own heart and over men's hearts receive that now if you need the gift of discerning of spirits we call that down now. We call it down from heaven. Whatsoever you loose on this earth, God says he will loose from heaven. So right now, let's loose the things that need to be loosed. First of all, let's loosen us out from under oppression. I loosen you out from under oppression right now. I break all chains of oppression off of you. I break all their strings, their cords, their cauldrons, their pots, their bowls, their curses, their enchantments, their words, any word curses they've spoke over you. I break all that off of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let it be written in the annals in heaven, in the books in heaven, that on this day, each one of these children that watches this video, that every curse shall be undone that is in their life. And everything that has been stolen from them by the, Satan's kingdom, there's only two true kingdoms, the kingdom of light, the Father's kingdom through Christ, and the kingdom of Satan, the darkness. But whatsoever the kingdom of the dark has stolen from these children, Father, I petition you will give them back double, double for their trouble, just like you gave Job back double for his trouble. And right now we pray for our frenemies. We pray for those wicked ones that have came out to rob and to steal from us. We forgive them for what they do, and we ask you to... to try to save their souls and we sh we pull back our uh, bow and arrow and we shoot and I put love on the tips of them arrows and I pull back my bow and I shoot those arrows into the enemy's camps to go and hit them in the heart and it'll be the love of God let the love of God hit them in the heart and we pray for our enemies like Job prayed for his enemies and now God blessed Job and gave him double when he prayed for his enemies and so right now in the name of Jesus we pray for our enemies and Lord we request double double payback double for all of our trouble i ask you to give us back double everything that satan has stolen from us that's just to start with double for there it is written in the bible that we can petition the lord for a fourfold increase on rep uh rep repercussion payback retribution payback or we can uh petition him for a sevenfold retribution payback but on this day i'm only asking for double i'm being generous i'm asking for double lord and i pray dear heavenly father you'll be quick to do for you are the lord of the double you double down yes you are a double dealer whatever you do in heaven you do it in the earth wherever there's a witness in heaven there's a witness in the earth for god is doubly good double 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 for your trouble
Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. I decree it. I declare it. I call it down on today. Let it be done so. We call back every single thing that the witches have taken from us. Every wallet they stole. Every money they stole. Every gift that Satan has taken that was our gifts. God, let me tell y'all this. This is going to trip y'all out. God sends you three to four, even sometimes five wrapped gifts every single day in heaven each one of us has a store room it is full of wrapped gifts some are little some are big they're all wrapped in beautiful wrappings with bows on them and the angels bring in deliver those to us and most of the time we don't even open them you know why because when we hear the lord saying come and sit with me a while we don't do it we stay on youtube we stay bringing in the hall like getting the bigger better deal looking at what's on clearance trying to uh, buy and sell and do all these things and we're not listening for the lord but if you'll slow your roll and listen for the lord when you hear him calling you the spirit will bid you the spirit has a very soft and sweet subtle voice and he will bid you to come and sit with the lord for a while when you hear that and even if you're not hearing it go and sit with the lord and start talking to him and know that every good gift cometh from the lord and every single day to every day is a new day with god and he sends us out at least three gifts each every day gifts that we can open up and use for our life gifts that he that we need to be using that's why he sends them but let me tell you how the evil kingdom works they set so traps so traps yes they do they put out uh webs to catch us in they put out cages to cage us in they put out uh, nets to catch our feet and they put out some traps they send a person this is how they work they'll send a person to speak something and it it either is going to key you off to opening up something uh, derogatory to where you're going to feel like you are offended and you're going to take offense as soon as you take offense they start stealing your gifts you have to have that that patience of your salvation you have to have the peace of jerusalem you have to have the peace of the lord for jesus christ is the prince of peace that's the reason he says take unto you the whole armor of god so that you may stand in the evil day so right now i dress you in the whole armor of god i shod your feet up first with the kingdom of peace the preparation the preparedness of the good news of the gospel of the kingdom of peace that is the good news if you walk in peace and you hold your peace and you're patient with that peace then you shall command the blessing do you want to command the blessing do you want to receive your wrapped gifts every day and open them up and use them you gotta walk in peace don't let any man cause conflict in you don't let any man rob you of your peace another one joy you have the joy of the lord call it down every day if you have not the joy call it down for the joy of the lord is your strength if you lose your joy if someone causes you to be bitter if someone causes you to be offensive or take offense if someone robs you of your joy they, the witches come in and they evil ones satan the devil even his demons they can come in and rob you of the gifts of the lord you hear that gunshot bam it went off the lord is saying these things are true and he said that will hit the nail on the head because if you have not the joy of the lord you know it for if you have the joy of the Lord, you're walking in the strength of Almighty God. You are walking in His joy. You are walking in His strength. So right now, Father, I call down the joy, the joy of the Lord, and I send it to these children. But And I also finish putting their armor on them. I put the, the belt of truth. I gird your loins up with Jesus Christ, for He is the truth. Uh, and we take the helmet of salvation and we put it on our head. That protects our brain. We put the vesture of Jesus' righteousness on. It goes over our shoulders, our chest, our back. And it guards our heart, too. We put the vesture of His righteousness on. This is Ephesians chapter 6, if you want to read about it. We take the sword, which is the Spirit and the Word. We take the sword of the Lord in our mouth, and we speak 
the word with the spirit and we overcome all power of the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony and we raise our shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of those wicked ones and now no one can steal what god has given unto us and now we walk in the joy of the lord so right now i call the courage of the lord down I call it to go to these children, Lord. I call them the mercies of God, the tender mercies and the the grace. I pray you send them a grace package right now. Where sin abounds, grace does not much more abound. And I send that grace package to you right now. So if you have been in sin, you are freed. You can come out now. I've already prayed, God, forgive all your sin. And you are guiltless because the blood washes you clean. You've been washed by the blood of the Lamb. But if you can't believe for it, I send you the grace of God to cover it thee. Because where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. And I send his true grace. We shall learn of the grace of God in the latter days. Because we cannot be perfect. Even though the word says, be ye perfect. For God is perfect. Who can be perfect? He that is perfect has a perfect tongue. It says that a man that can control his tongue is a perfect man indeed. This is how we know we are perfect if our tongue can be controlled. If you can control your tongue, and even if you think things in your head and they're not right, we pull them down to the word. We take every thought captive by the word. So, if a bad thought comes in your mind, and I'll just tell you a bad thought that happened to me so you'll understand what I'm talking about. I was just sitting there watching praise and worship one day, and I heard a voice say, wonder what that preacher would look like without his clothes on. And you know what I did? I arrested that thought. And I turned and I said, the Lord rebuke the devil. That's not my thought. I was sitting here thinking on Jesus Christ, worshiping him. And I know that wasn't my thought. And so I rebuked that devil and he, he left. I, and when we, when we do that, when we rebuke that devil and we take authority over the thoughts that come in our head, uh, that is submitting ourselves to the Lord when we do that. And the devil will flee. Submit yourself unto the Lord. Resist the enemy. He will flee. So when you get these thoughts coming in your mind, you should stop. You should take communion. Uh, eat the, the, the bread. Jesus said if we eat not his flesh and drink not his blood, we have no life in us. But if we will take the communal cup, he said do this in remembrance of him always. Remember his crucifixion, his resurrection again until he come. Take and do it every day. Take the bread and the, and the grape juice or the bread and the wine. Break it. Give thanks for it. Take it and you will have uh, it is a uh, evident token to the Lord that you believe on him and you trade right there at the altar of God you trade all your impurity all your sin all your shame all your whatever is wrong with you you trade it you lay that down and you take up his bread and his blood and then you put on your full armor of God and you cover your mind in the blood of Christ you cover your mind in the helmet of salvation so you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Turn everything off that would cause you to have bad thoughts later. Don't watch horror movies. Don't listen to secular music unless it is good. Because um, all songs that are secular uh, are not bad. Some, uh, A lot of them, the holy angels gave the download. They sent, uh, and God sent the gifts for the people to write the songs. So a lot of them are done uh, under God. So, uh, but turn off the things that would cause you to sin. Don't watch any rated R movies. Don't let them blaspheme God in your ears. Because I just read in the book of Revelation that uh, that beast, the beast, that they're going to, the beast is a, a one, uh, is a body of unbelievers. It's not just uh, Satan the devil or his uh, kingdom. It is his kingdom plus all the people that do not believe in Christ. They are a body of unbelievers. They make up a whole body. They're called the beast. But that beast blasphemed God in heaven. But he also blasphemed the tabernacle of God. That's us. We are the tabernacle of God because we house the Lord. This body, this tent, this tabernacle, this temple, God lives in it. They blaspheme the tabernacle of God and they also blasphemed those that were in heaven. So they blasphemed the three witnesses. God, the first witness, 
those in heaven, the second witness, and us here on the earth that has Jesus. That's the third witness. They blasphemed all three witnesses. So if you're sitting there watching movies and they're blaspheming the Lord, the next thing you'll know is you're going to have somebody that's going to blaspheme you. That's what happened to me last week. This week, actually, I think it's six days ago, I was watching, I was going to watch, um, Jumanji, the new Jumanji. I like the old movie Jumanji, so I was going to watch the new movie Jumanji. In the first five or eight minutes of the movie, every single one of those person did a GD. They blasphemed the Lord. There was six of them. All of them blasphemed the Lord, and they did it so fast that I, I barely had time to turn it off. I thought maybe they were only going to do it that one time, and I had rep prayed and repented for it, but they just kept doing it, and I had to turn it off. As soon as that was over, a person came into my life, and they was uh, cussing me out, calling me an MF, calling me this, calling me that, and the Lord said they are blaspheming my tabernacle. See, because this is the tabernacle of the Lord. And I told that person, I said, you need to repent for the way you're talking to me because you're blaspheming the Lord's tabernacle. And do you know they received the word and they repented? They did. And you know what else they did? They called me and told me they had the fear of the Lord and they didn't want anything bad to happen to them. See, the Lord sent his fear on them because those that will, will receive the rebuke of the Lord, a wise man receives the rebuke of the Lord, but a fool will not receive the rebuke of the Lord and they are near to being cursed and damned. You remember I told y'all about how the Lord, he has great vengeance and he will kill those that are rebellious. He does. I've known a lot of people that have lost their life for being rebellious to the Lord. And I've known a lot of people that lost their life being a witch. They've died it, it, so fast. It, it hit them so fast. And there was nothing they could do because he had given them all the grace he could afford them. And they kept blaspheming his tabernacle, which is his children. They kept blaspheming him, and they kept blaspheming those in heaven, and they would, they were rebellious to the end, and they would not repent, and they lost their lives. And now we're living in the day and time that if you go against God's anointed, you better hope and pray that God has mercy on your soul, because we're going into the day and the hour to where those that uh, try to go against God's anointed, my phone is going dead, that he will strike them down. And I don't want anybody to lose their life unnecessarily. So my phone is going dead. I had to come back in the house. I'm going to let y'all go. I've been praying for y'all. I may get back on in just a little bit and continue to pray for you guys. I love you so much and you have a really great day. Mean to be signing off. Bye.